What's popcorn pop and pokey pals? Welcome back to Pokemon Procyon! Not Deneb. Last time we were on the adventure down south, this bridge that has been repaired very recently. But now we're on the adventure of a lifetime to see what lies down there. Could it be an area that we've already been here before and we're just here again to see what happened that's new? Maybe. Well, after being on Steel Little Man, let's go out to Mako, who is possibly a better alternative for electric steel guys like Pikachu. We got Bulldoze, a plenty. We already went through 10 apparently last episode. And a Voltorb that is suspiciously very low to the ground. Was it always like that, Fire Red? Sounds like green. No. Oh. It's kind of odd though. Well, thanks, man. See you later. And whoa, there's a little man there. How? I, I want to go down there, dude. Oh, well. Oh, hey. It looks like we already battled that guy because we have returned. All the way back to the second gym town area! Yes, it was a whole circle. Square, if you want to be technical. Look at that, look, 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 see? Because, look, uh, if you recall, a little recap here. We started our adventure right there. We kind of went over here to see that there's a dead end and there's also surfing, but who knows where we're going to get surfed. And then we went over here, and we battled this gym leader here, and then we went over here, and we went across that bridge, and that's where we battled the final line guy? And then we went here, but there was nothing to do, so we went south. And now we're back here because this is the town with the best music. Oh, it's so good, dude. Anyway, we're here. This guy, I believe he was blocking the way. The way to the great unknown. The Safari Zone, man. So let's hop on in. Yeah, I don't know why I'm looking at my team. We just need to go in, dude. Look at all that money. Oh my god, Danny is loaded with a lot of cash. He doesn't need change, though. So let's see what's in here. Uh, mm, kind of like the Vegas Safari Zone, there's not a lot of new things, like all the common things are, well, I guess you could say that about every Safari Zone, every common thing is just things you've seen before. It's very disappointing, and all the rare things are super rare, and they're very annoying to catch, just like Vega, they are impossible to catch. Kecleon, I'm pretty sure doesn't get an evolution, I'm gonna catch it either way, yippee, and the Bud's Box, yo man. Alright, but this whole Safari Zone seems to be divided into three areas, I want to say three or four. Because each area seems to have their own unique little instrument guy that just conveniently appeared as I wanted to talk to him. So in the first area here, we got Violin Guy. Next one I want to say is a tuba, and then we'll see the keyboard. But just each area is separated like that because each one has a different different pokes in it. And so in this area, the like ultra rare poke is Pinsir? From what I recall. And it does have an evolution in this game. No Mega, but it's just as good. It's Bug Ground, which I would have thought Mega Pinster would have been that. Like, just originally, I don't know. Hey, Bug Flying with Aerial 8, that really helps it, you know? Alright, anyway, let's use our bag here, because we got the good rod a couple episodes back. Uh, is there anything? Oh, okay, well this guy. Uh, there's one fish. I don't know if it's exclusive to the Safari Zone, but there it is. It evolves... it's pure water right now. And I think it evolves to water ground, or water dark. Maybe that last thing evolves to water dark. I think so. Water ground... cool. There's so many water ground types, though, like nowadays. Even in, in Vega, I think there's quite a few. And the novelty of it, I want to say, has worn off. Whoa, it's, it's, it only has one weakness, grass! And that was cool, but like, you know, there's so many, you know? It's like, okay, whatever, dude, move on. Anyway, uh, I guess we're not gonna find a pincer then, but whatever is here. I'm pretty sure it's a pincer. Um, yeah, I'm done. Okay, whatever. Just believe me, there are pincers. How many steps are we at? Great, we're almost out. Wow, that went fast. Okay, next area is right here. This is where you find tuba guys the most. Uh, uh huh. Oh, I love that cry, dude. I love little tuba man. I'm gonna throw a rock at it. Yes, I'm gonna catch it. Yeah, man. Tuba and G. You're mine. I should call it tuba G, shouldn't I? I should. Here, man. Welcome back to the team, tuba G. And I'll do a lowercase G just to differentiate it with uh, the one in Altair. Two bag! Two bog! Oh man! I remember that. Okay, so in the tuba guy area, there is this one new thing that is incredible. Is it right there? No. <laughs> it is a pure dragon type. 
And it is very rare times I've tried to catch it. Oh! Oh! You're here! Whoa! I didn't know he was here. I, I thought he was the next area. Not that thing. It's not a dragon. But it is grass poison. I want to catch it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's like a little... I don't know, a mammalian little man? Like a little eye eye, right? I believe so, or something like that. Hey! Okay, wow, I didn't know they were in this area. But anyway, there's a little dragon man. And by little, I mean gigantic. He looks really out of place. If we could find it, that would be incredible. Nope. Mm. Who knows how many steps we got? Uh, who knows? I know! I could click start. <gasps> uh oh. Uh, there it is! God, like, I was just randomly going in the safari zone. I thought it was done. I thought I saw everything, but then this thing appears. Jeez. So, pure dragon. I don't know if it has anything cool to it. I don't know. Uh, it looks cool, though. Uh, it doesn't seem to have an evolution from what I can tell. It just seems to be physical. I don't know. Well, oh my god, I caught it. Wow, the rock prevails once again. Neat. Yeah, I tried using it. I leveled it up a couple levels, but I don't know. It wasn't that great. Oh well. Something so rare. And it just seems to be only in the safari zone. Oh man, dude, I'm almost out of steps. Let's just try to find something else. Great. Uh, that was the next area, though, where the keyboard uh, little lake guardian guy is. Lake trio guy. Yeah. So, we pretty much went all around. Hi. Where's Pinsir? I wanna find one! I'm not sure if Heracross is in here. There's Heracross? I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> but there's Pinsir. There's that dragon thing. And then in this upcoming area right here, I wanna say Absol? Oh, there's the keyboard, man. So in the keyboard area, there's Absol or Giraffe Rig. Either one. And those have evolutions, just like in Vega and Altair, which are pretty good. Yeah, the Absol one is... Oh, here it is. <laughs> is just amazing. I, I don't like how it looks. It looks kind of lazily done, in my opinion. It still has that same sprite. Like, dude. They, uh, it can't be that hard to make a new one. It just looks like the Absol with, like, new stuff on it. Okay, and that dude, by the way, we're gonna have to evolve it. Evolve to the Leafstone. Yo, man. Alright. So, are we still in the same area with the keyboard, man? Or what? Eh? Little clay bird. Well, well, let's catch one, sure. I wish we caught the evolution of it. It's around here, actually. Uh, Pikachu, yo! Let's catch on a light ball with a light ball. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, man, I swear we catch it with a light ball. And um, there's also Machu in this game, as you know. And here's that thing again. Let's try catching it. Ugh. 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 Oh, well. Machu. The, the Pikachu happiness evolution electric fighting guy is uh, very good as well. There's a lot of cool things that are very strong in the Safari Zone. Not that thing though, they're pure normal, all three of them, if you recall correctly. Yeah, whoa, there's Ditto in here, holy! I'm gonna try to catch it and not... okay. Oh, <gasps> you! Okay, like Eevee, these guys evolve into a million things. That are pretty good, and they all get shell smashed thanks to its first evolution. That's incredible. Oh, jeez, we caught one. Cool. Alright, it just evolved through a bunch of different stones. All of this I've already said in Vega. Only new things that we've seen so far that Dragon and little, little grass poison little man. Yeah, hello. Alright, well, I guess that's it. Like, four separate areas from what I can tell. Oh, hey. Uh, sure, let's catch it. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, whatever, I'll just catch it. Hello, cool. And then, wait, is this an area that's of importance? Wow! Is this a surf man? I don't think so. Yeah, I never got surfed. No, okay. Maybe it's just not added in yet, but... It would appear that's the guy that gives you surf in the first gen, you know? Clay. It looked a little shiny! No! I think we're about done though. We saw an Absol. Trust me, there's Pinsir. I think Giraffe Rig. I believe so. Alright. Well, let's see. Any items? Oh! Oh, you're holding something. Oh, an Orin Berry. Light bulb, light bulb, not Orin Berry. Light bulb. 
No! Oh well, I ran that one time. I think it was in Vega. I tried to take off an item from a Pikachu and then I released it. Good times. Alright, so what do we got? We got the Cacolon, pure normal, anything cool? Doesn't look like it. That's incredible. Pure little normal man? Yeah, see, it's like Hazel, then the other one's like, that one's like, like the other Lake Trio, and then the other Lake Trio, you know? They kind of look like it. I don't know if that's what they appear to be based on. This is my opinion. Anyway. Oh, I see, it's got a ground move that's pure water right now. Alright, yeah, it's gotta be water ground evolution guy. Neat. Too bad! You're normal. Yeah, oh my god. Is that, that's gotta be, uh, that's gotta be uproar. 20. 20 what? I don't know. No, uproar actually says power. Oh jeez. I don't know, dude. How does it not have anything? Okay, this dude. I love him. I want to use him though. But we already have a grass type, man. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, Link. Great, maybe another uh, future playthrough. But I like him. I like him. You'll see. I'll evolve him right now. Uh, Dragon Dude. Uh, hmm, look at that. Special attack isn't that different from its uh, regular attack. Its speed is okay for 22. I guess, yeah. Huh. Alright. Hmm. Cool. I don't know if I, like, use it on the team, because it's just a Dragon type that doesn't evolve, and then you stuck with it. Well, I, I mean, we're already four gym badges in. It's not that late in the game. I don't know, I wouldn't mind using it. It looks okay. You know, I thought it was really cool because it was so rare and I never saw it in Safari. I'm like, what? Alright, anyway. Why'd I catch that? You. You have anything cool? Uh, nope. Cool. You. Wow, just like all the other ones. Uh, and you! Yeah, it's got a rollout. That cry sounds like, I don't know, so unfitting to it? I don't know. What's that sound like? Sounds like a car echoing through a tunnel. Huh. Well, and we caught that thing. What? Did you have a steel move? Alright, Metal Claw. Interesting. Alright, anyway, let's evolve this guy just to see him! That's exciting. Alright, so this is a guy that evolved through a leaf of stone. We got two? What? Alright. Well, let's do it. And then Deneb gets a little dude like this, but he is purpley? I think so. Yeah. Well, our guy evolves into a purple guy. It's that thing. God. I love him. He's like a crazy little animal man. That's cool. And then in Deneb, they get, like, I don't know, this titanic kind of, like, giant. Kind of koala man? He looks kind of cooler, in my opinion, but this is grass poison? Yep. Make that cry? Interesting. Alright, I have no idea what that ability is, but he looks okay. Look at that speed. Ooh. Huh. Alright. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of Skun Tank, but a grass type Skun Tank. Neat. It, it does look like it could pass up as, like, dark. Huh? Dark poison. That's weird how it's grass. Hmm. Well, on that note, let's progress all the way back to the one town we just kind of went through and then left. Over here! It's finally time to take on the gym! Not yet, because this man's in the way. Uh, okay, not sure what he's talking about. I wish I would know, but alas, where we gotta go is right over here. Where Miss, I believe she's the the champion from Vega. I really don't remember her, but I remember she was like she had gray hair. Yeah. Well, let's ominously turn off the music here and see what's up. She said my name. Great. Ominous. <gasps> she can hop. Oh man. All right. I love it when ROM hacks like don't have like I don't know. The scripting is bad, like, you talk from a different angle to a character, then they'll, like, phase through items. Or, like, if there's a NPC walking around, they'll just phase through them. It's like, heh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, now that she has left the little area there, we can go over here and make progress, because if you recall, there was a couple of bad guys just hanging out right here. Now, we can go into this building, see what things lie up ahead for our adventure with Denny, his four badges that we've gone through, his brand new and cool looking team that's really good. 
And this guy, he's just tagging along. No reason. I'm not gonna keep him though. Oh, look at these guys. Remember when Cutie was a cute little rock? And now it's so cute. That's great. Ely, the new team member, didn't really do much. Uh, and she. It's water or steel, that's cool. And Mako, oh, I'm so glad we haven't evolved it yet. Let's try to keep it like that. Betty, on the other hand, looks amazing. I love her. Oh, man. And Ling, it's good. Yeah. Alright, well, let's move on. Also, let's not forget our little feathered friend man. Whatever he is, Clay. Clay, the clay bird, and, and right there. Yeah, we haven't seen the other evolution though, but the clay. Let's not forget clay. Okay, now let's move on to ending the LP here because this is where the ROM hack ends. In this beta, there is no way to go in here from what I've seen. I haven't seen anyone else manage to get in here. I'm guessing this is where it ends. That's it. That's it for Dan Evan Procyon. A sad note to end off like, wow! I, Cause like, you know, you were going by here and you see these guys right here. Like, how do you get them out of the way? And then I finally figured it out, like talking by to that lady all the way over there. But, uh, this is where it ends. I was so disappointed, like, ugh. Ugh. Well, that's how it ends. <laughs> we're gonna stop here. And now, okay, first off, I have heard of another beta that apparently goes all the way up to the last gym leader, and then you can't take on the Elite Four. Now, I'd be okay with playing that the whole way, but I can't find that, and nobody seems to have that. Like, there's no footage of that far in the game anywhere online from what I can find? I don't know. I've tried looking, but I don't know. It's unfortunate. But this is the only bait I can find, and for that, we're gonna have to wait until the next beta, if it ever comes out, we can progress. Maybe I'll use the same team, like, continue on from this point, or maybe start a new file with Deneb, not Procyon, because we pretty much played halfway of Procyon. <laughs> but yeah, once the full game's out, if ever, I'll totally be 100%ing it. Yeah. Well, and there's a couple other exclusives we haven't seen yet. Yeah, how about we leave it like that, and when the whole game comes out, we can play them there. And, uh, oh man. Well, that's been fun. It's been a fun journey! Oh man, there. We saw up to Torical. That's cool. Okay, next time I'll see you in Kanto, where we're gonna beat up the last gym leader in the Let's Play Pokemon Harkle, the randomized wedlock challenge with a couple couples over there that have been waiting to finish up that game. So, see you then. And goodbye, Procyon. That's Deneb, but it isn't Deneb, it's actually Procyon. Goodbye.